And now to our NewsHour shares. Something on this Memorial Day we want you to know. The Poppy Memorial arrived on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. this weekend, commemorating all the American service members who've died since World War I. It's 133 feet long, containing 645,000 poppies, each representing an American serviceman or woman killed in combat since World War I. In World War I, a Canadian officer visiting a comrade who he had lost in a gravesite saw poppies growing up among the crosses. He penned a poem in Flanders Field. Three years later, an American woman, Mona Michael, wrote her own poem, We Shall Keep the Faith. And in that, she said we should never forget the fallen. And she recommended wearing a poppy, as I'm doing. So from that day forward, the poppy has been the symbol of the fallen. The memorial is located here in an ideal location on the mall, surrounded by the Vietnam Memorial, the Korean Memorial, the Lincoln, the World War II Memorial, so that Americans can see the connection between those memorials and 645,000 lives lost. When you think about our history and you think that World War I was the war to end all wars, and we've had World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and our men and women in service are in combat right now, I think that has a lot of significance on both sides, the tragedy as well as the inspiration that they're willing to fight for their country and if necessary die. We need to stop and think about what Memorial Day means as Americans, the men and women that made the ultimate sacrifice so that we could be free. On the News Hour online right now, two women veterans who are poets share how writing has helped them heal from PTSD. Read their poems and more on our website, pbs.org newshour.